All right, fellow drivers, I'm gonna show y'all how to properly drop a trailer. All right, you don't need to be working yourself to death. If you can see, as you can see, they raised that trailer way entirely too high. And look under that. The trailer won't even clear it. Look at that. Look at all that room between the trailer and the fifth wheel. Y'all looking at it? Look at all the room between the trailer and the fifth wheel. As y'all can see. Look at the latch. Look at the fifth wheel. Right? Look at it. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to probably drop a trailer. But this don't make no sense at all. The trailer should not be like this. All right? So give me a few minutes. I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna try to um, bring this down a little bit so I can show you guys how to properly drop a trailer. So that way, you, you know, your coworkers, your fellow workers, or the next person that come behind you don't have to struggle. Just think about it. If there was another trailer near here and so close, look at that. If you look at the uh, lending gear bars, you have hell trying to bring that down and hook up to it. You need a, a yard mule, someone with a yard mule to do it. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Hang on. Okay guys, I'm back. Had to raise that trailer leg up. All right guys, this is how you probably drop a trailer. You see how many inches? Look at that. That's between one to two inches off the ground before you drop it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, drain, um, drop the airbags. Okay, I'm gonna release the rear bag and uh, dump the airbag. Once I dump it, you'll notice how that trailer gonna fall down on its own. So that way, the next driver, when the next driver hook to it, it automatically going uh, the fifth will gonna automatically raise that trailer up. So that way, it won't be so hard. Just in case you need to pull out of there to uh, uh, wind those lending gears up, or if it's loaded, you won't have a hard time trying to um, wind those uh, legs back up. So I'm gonna leave my phone here. Sorry, I don't have my camera. I got a regular phone on me. So watch when I dump the airbag. Watch how that trailer leg gonna fall, and I'm just gonna pull out, pull out of there automatically. As you can see, guys, see how they, uh, the whole thing is on the ground. Both landing gears, both on the ground. If you notice, look how my truck is lined up with the trailer, the fifth wheel. You notice how the fifth wheel is lined up? The fifth wheel is going to automatically raise it up. So that way, when you get ready to um, wind those gears back up, those landing gears legs back up, guess what? You don't have a problem. So please, guys, I don't, guys, I don't care who thought y'all to drop trailers and that's the proper way to do it guys make sure you leave two inches off the ground uh i graduated out of a swift school in 2004 and ever since then i've seen guys that they've been driving way longer than i have they don't even know how to properly drop a, drop a trailer and especially the newer guys, they're learning from the older guys, and the oldest guys they ain't doing, they didn't do a good job. They're not doing a, a better job than what Swift did for us. I learned that from a Swift school. I'm not, I mean, if I'm being honest with you, I didn't have a good experience working for Swift, but the, the school was incredibly great. It was an, a great school. So guys, like I said, uh, this is my uh, one of the tips that I, I mean I've seen a lot of trailers. The way the guys been dropping those trailers, whew, it's terrible. It's a headache, back issues, all kind of thing, neck problems, shoulder problems. It comes with that. All right, guys, have a nice day, and don't forget, guys, uh, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment.